This video will discuss the accounting for cash dividends. When a corporation declares and issues dividends, there are three important dates that we need to use in order to determine the accounting for them. The first is the date of declaration. On the date of declaration, the Board of Directors announces that the corporation will be paying a dividend. On the date of the declaration, we need to record a liability for that dividend. On the date of record, there is no entry required. The only thing that occurs on the date of record is the corporation identifies who owns the stock to identify who will receive the cash dividend payment. Nothing is needed to be recorded in the general ledger. Finally, the date of payment. On the date of payment, the liability that is recorded is then paid. Let's look at the date of declaration. On January 19th, a $1 per share cash dividend is declared on ABC Company's 10,000 common shares outstanding. Outstanding means the shares are held outside the corporation by owners. The dividend will be paid on March 19th to stockholders of record on February 19th. On January 19th, the date of declaration, we need to record a liability for that dividend. As soon as the Board of Directors declares, the corporation has a liability to pay. Because dividends are paid out of the company's accumulated profits, and accumulated profits are recorded in retained earnings, we need to decrease retained earnings by the amount of the dividend, because that is decreasing to pay this dividend. The amount of the dividend is $10,000 which is $1 per share times 10,000 shares outstanding. The liability will be credited common dividend payable for the amount of $10,000. On the date of record, the corporation is simply identifying who owns that stock. In the accounting department, there is nothing that needs to be done because no journal entry is required on the date of record, which is February 19th. Finally, on the date of payment, the liability that was recorded on the date of declaration is actually paid. So we only need to record payment of cash, decreasing the liability to the stockholders. So we are going to debit the liability to decrease and credit cash because we used cash to pay the dividend.